Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to make a quick intro in After Effects. So it's really, really simple and you do not need any kind of basic knowledge in After Effects. It's really step by step. What you'll need uh, to start off is obviously After Effects. So if you don't have that, uh, check out in the description a link to the trial version on Adobe's website. And then second off, you'll need a plugin. Uh, it's called Trap Code Particular. And I'll put this link in the description right here from this webpage. And go ahead and fill out this information and choose After Effects and then choose a student for example and go ahead and for the products you can choose up to three but you need just trap code particular that's the only one you need okay uh, and click the version and then submit so this is version 2.1 I've got version 2.0 so uh, it's it's the same don't worry about it um, so yeah go ahead and download that it's gonna send the download link to your email if I'm correct and you're ready to go uh, so download and install so it on once After you're all Effects set up and well. ready to go to start uh, so up After Effects right. and um, go to uh, composition, new composition and I'm gonna make call this intro and I'm gonna make a 720p preset right here at 30 frames a second obviously if you want 1080p go ahead and take 1080p it's totally up to you I'm gonna make this 15 seconds although it's probably gonna be way shorter uh, I might even do this make this 10 seconds uh, but you can always adjust the size later so hit OK so now I'm going to quickly create a background here. Um, so I'm going to do layer new solid command or control Y. And I'm, calling a, I'm going to call this background. So it's always nice to uh, call your stuff so you know what you're doing and what it is. Um, so I'm going to call this background. And I'm going to give this a nice gradient. So go to effects and preset and search for ramp. Ramp stands for gradient in After Effects. I'm going to make this radial ramp. Uh, I'm going to make it something like this. So again, this is totally up to you. It doesn't need to be a solid. It can also be your picture or something. I don't know. Whatever you want. Uh, this is totally up to you. And you can make it like way nicer and stuff. But uh, I'm just going to make quickly a background here. So then go ahead and take your text tool. Click on your screen and, I mean, on your comp canvas. And it's automatically going to start up the text tool. So I'm going to quickly make a text here. And uh, again, if you want to, you can uh, change the color of this. So go to your character and then change the color in whatever you want. So I'm just going to stick with this uh, yellow, orange, peach kind of thing. Um, so yep, that's for my letters. And then I'm going to go ahead and create my particle. So layer, new, solid. Hit OK. Then go to effects and preset and search for a particular, which is the plugin you just um, download it so it's probably at the bottom and drag this on your solid so you see if you scrub through the timeline you're gonna have this uh, this thing come up and uh, go ahead and select your particles and go to an emission preset in your effect control and choose um, let's make it organic lines so I've got my organic lines right there uh, so it should some uh, it should look something like that obviously it might be longer or shorter uh, that depends and uh, we're just going to start off with the preset because that's easy, but uh, we'll change the preset um, in the video too. So go ahead and place your particles. By the way, I'm going to call this particles. And go ahead and place them over your text um, so it looks pretty good. In my case, the particles are exactly kind of the size of my text, so it already looks good. If not, I go to emitter, uh, change the emitter type to box. And you can play with the emitter size X, make it larger or smaller. Again, this is only if um, your text is really high or something like that. But uh, we're just going to keep it to point if it's not the case. And uh, once you think this looks good, uh, we're going to change the colors and stuff of the particles. So go to particle. Uh, you can change the life here. So if you want them to have a shorter life, so two seconds, it's barely going to, it's not really going to go really far. Um, so yep or seven seconds I'm gonna make it about seven seconds um, that's good so it covers my whole intro and they basically never die uh, and then make life random I'm gonna make it something like 20 so some of gonna some of them are gonna live live longer some of them some of them gonna live shorter um, so yep that's for the life random percent uh, then for the set color, I'm going to put at birth and I'm going to make it 
this red so it kind of looks like fire no well not really fire but uh, yeah I'm gonna change the color random too so it's not only the same red that looks pretty good um, so I've got my particles so again this is really simple to make really quick uh, at this point you might want uh, the particles to go through the screen not that fast because right now they go through really fast if you want to make that longer or shorter go on your particles hit U on your keyboard and then you'll have those two keyframes here just after each other two after each other uh, and you can drag those to set an endpoint so for example you want them to start disappearing at like four seconds so they're gonna go all the way they're gonna keep coming and then at four seconds they're gonna start disappearing so that's totally up to you how long you want to make this so I'm gonna try and keep this pretty short uh, something like that looks pretty good um, so yeah for me they start disappearing at uh, about three seconds <coughs> sorry and uh, once you happy with your particles we're gonna add a kind of few uh, effects to the text to make it more realistic uh, as if they're appearing with the particles so go to your effects and preset and search for linear wipe so there's two linear wipes there's one which is the transition which we don't want we want the transitions with an S and wipes uh, so it's a different thing because yeah it's a different thing that's a preset animation preset and that's a transition it's not exactly the same although you can accomplish the same results but it's gonna take you way longer with the other one because you need to change a bunch of stuff uh, so take this one and drag that on you to your text so I'm gonna make your text appear right there that's pretty fast but uh, select your text hit on U and you have two keyframes so obviously the number one is the one where it starts and the number two is the one where it ends so I'm gonna make it appear start appearing right when the particles pop up and make this a little longer too so we okay so there you go if I take the particles away you'll see how it works so at the first keyframe right here it's gonna start popping up and at the last one it's when it ends um, so yeah and that looks pretty cool with the particles at the same time okay so then to add a little more effect that it's actually the particles that are creating the letters because right now you can kind of see it uh, you want to add transparency to your text and then slowly become visible so go to your text layer hit T it's gonna bring up the opacity and at the beginning make it when it starts appearing uh, make it 0% so put it at 0% Set a keyframe by clicking on the little uh, clock. Go a little bit further uh, when the particles are almost through or something like that, but for a second here. Uh, and make it go up to 100. So drag it all the way to 100. It's automatically going to set a keyframe. So if I set the particles away here, you're going to see it's going to put, a, it's going to do a wipe and at the same time as well, it's going to fade in slowly. So it's going to make a wipe and then fade in slowly at the same time. So with the particles, this looks pretty good. So it looks kind of as if it's appearing slowly in the particles. Uh, so I think that looks pretty good. Uh, so that's for this really simply simple intro. I know this is not difficult at all, so don't think this is too simple. But I mean, a ton of people ask this uh, to me on how to make those really quick simple intros. Um, and uh, trust me, a lot of you, I know a lot of you don't know this. So uh, yeah, uh, I hope this really helped. And uh, be sure that if you use this intro, uh, be sure to put it as a video response because I'm really always happy to see the people used it and uh, how you used it. Um, so to show you in full speed how it looks for mine, again, so like that, particles kind of show up the text and then the particles go away and then you got your text. And then you can end your uh, intro, by the way, if you want to change the ending point of your intro, you can uh, change the working space here or the work area end. So for example, you want it to end right here. So it would end right there. Then when you render it, it only renders till there. I mean, that's totally up to you how long you want to make it. So that's it for uh, this tutorial. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, be sure to email me at youtube at m4cbook.com. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and check out all my other cool videos. <laughs> um, I'll thank you again very much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.